of motors came over and they joined the uh, crash investigation team and the motors will now be on the surface streets whereas the aggressive driving units including myself we predominantly work the interstate areas. So our A shift motors strictly focuses on from around seven to nine as of right now a hot spot in that precinct where those crashes and fatalities are occurring. Now the B detail will come in and they'll focus on that hot spot at rush hour when it's time to go home and they are getting everyone from three to five. So that way we're getting afternoon coverage and morning coverage of these hotspots and that's what's really driving down these numbers. So now you're looking at probably 15 to 20 officers that can go out in the area, do a saturation patrol, start finding the offenders and cut down the type of uh, distracted drivings leading to a better area for the motor in public. They're not primarily focused on headlights or a tail light. They're not focused on tags expired. Our unit is focused on things that are causing crashes, causing the fatalities, causing these wrecks at all these major intersections. And stuff like that is speeds, reckless driving, seatbelt violations, texting, distracted driving, anytime someone's driving with their phone in their hand. And being on a motorcycle, you can really see inside these cars, you can see them drive by, you can really pay attention to these drivers. Predominantly, if we're just driving along with regular traffic, but most of the times what catches our attention is an offensive driver, be it someone driving in a reckless manner, high speeds, putting up the motor public in danger. So that will cue us as far as we run our radar systems front and back. So once they are illuminated to a certain um, speed, what you may say, we'll start tracking that vehicle, watching how their driving is occurring. If we need to, we'll go ahead and make a stop and then uh, do a citation or a verbal warning, whatever it may be, to correct their driving habits. I think having countywide motors was probably one of the greatest decisions we could ever make for this department. You really see the difference out here and us actually lowering crashes, lowering fatalities, helping out our community, and I'm glad to be a part of it. One of the main things we're seeing is the reduction in crashes. I believe it's around 16 or 18 percent when the motors and aggressive driving team goes out to the areas, which is a great thing. Also, when you have a saturation of officers in the area, crime seems to go down because people are seeing that we are saturating the area, so many police. And if a crime does occur, we have a better response time if we do go to the call. My goal is the motor and public safety and stopping multiple vehicles. You know, like I say, it may be a, a ticket, it may be a warning, but whatever it is, having a conversation and get them to refocus on what they're doing. Just a reminder, if you're obeying the traffic laws, you never have anything to worry about. But if you're texting, speeding, not wearing a seatbelt, reckless driving, you might want to check your rearview mirrors for one of my motors.